channel if you are new here i am jazz and over here we talk all things cash if you are into budgeting debt saving challenges sinking funds anything to do with money then this is your channel go ahead thumbs up the video subscribe to the channel and engage in the comments down below so guys it's been a while since i have filmed and let me just say life has been lifing okay i am so tired i've been working like a slave i feel <laughs> and um yeah i just it's been some things going on um if you guys didn't know i did lose my partner earlier this year in february and his birthday um would have been on the 30th of august so I just had to take a little break and take a little time and, you know, get through those emotions of not, um, you know, spending time and having him around. And he's been a part of my life for 13 years. So, yeah, it's been kind of rough. Another thing, um, <laughs> disregard how my nails are going to be looking in this video. I had something come up and they required me to cut my nails down because they were too long and I've been trying to soak them off so they look a hot mess and I really honestly was like not trying to film because of how my nails are looking but <sighs> um, I will be handling that. I have an appointment on the 8th. So without further ado, we are going to get into our budget for the first paycheck of September. And this is going to be kind of a small budget. Um, yeah, not very much income at all this time. So, oh, and quick thing. My job has switched our paydays, so we no longer get paid on Mondays. They have decided to pay us on Fridays, which is awesome because um, for September, I'm going to have five paychecks now so yeah that's awesome um so the first paycheck is gonna be nine two i think yeah and we are going to be working with seven hundred and ninety six dollars for the first paycheck Bills that I have due this paycheck are Nycor, which is my gas company. My water bill. And T-Mobile. about all the bills yes so NICOR is $127.23 um, and that is actually due on the 8th Water bill is due on the 6th, and that is $118.43. And T-Mobile is due on the 6th as well, and that is $72.14. So, if we go ahead and take $796, no. We're going to just go ahead and add the total for the bills first. 127.23 plus 118.43 plus 72.14. That's the total of $317.80. So if we subtract that from 796, that's going to leave us with 
$478.20 remaining. So we're going to bring that $478.20. down now my last uh, budget with me i didn't budget the change and i don't technically you know stuff change into my cash envelopes but i didn't budget that because i was trying to do like a beginner budget video and i didn't want to confuse people with the change but this time i am going to be doing the change because this is like my budget and i need to know exactly where everything is going um, even if I do leave the change in my account. So I hope it doesn't confuse you guys too much. So let me see. I can never remember my cash envelope, um, categories. So I have to go back and look. I'm so sorry. So we have me, we have takeout. House, um, beauty, blessings, and miscellaneous. Okay. So I'm going to take $40 take out we are going to do what do I want to do for takeout I think I'm only gonna do like 35 this time for takeout because I plan on going grocery shopping tomorrow like a big stock up at Sam's Club and I don't foresee us needing to um have as much takeout food so I don't need the $60 that I normally use. So I'm thinking I'm only going to do $35 for takeout. Household, we are going to do $25. Beauty, I'm going to do $55. Blessings is going to get $5. And miscellaneous is going to get $10. So let's total that up. $40. Plus 35 plus 25 plus 55 plus 5 plus 10. We are going to be taking $170 for our cash envelopes. So if we subtract that from the 478.20, that leaves us with $308.20. So, we have up here, three oh eight twenty, and sinking funds, we are going to do car maintenance for sure. Now, it's another story with that when I said life has been life in. So, my daughter recently, um got her license and uh, I have two cars one of my cars is the one is the car the vehicle that my uh, partner was using before he passed away so I wasn't really like up to date with the maintenance that he had put had done to the car um and so we took the car in because the brake light was on took the car in to see what needed to be done found out that he did he had recently gotten the brake pads changed but he didn't get the rotors done so the brake pads were done but I don't know by who and then the person put the freaking brake pads on backwards so we had to get that fixed um she the sensor light for the brakes and the rotors so total they were asking about eight hundred and fifty dollars to fix all of that i don't have that saved up right now so i'm gonna be 
you know, trying to save up because it's, you know, something, it's a necessity if she's going to be driving and driving safely. So, um, yeah, so we ended up just having them put the brake pads on the correct way and they still charged like a hundred and a hundred and forty five hundred and fifty dollars to do that so yeah um car maintenance i depleted to pay for what she needed just to make sure she's driving safely because they said it's not gonna affect the light being on is not affecting her being able to drive safely or stop or anything like that is just gonna eventually um cause something with the any light brake system so i'm gonna just try to save up as much as i can to get that all taken care of so nothing happens with that car because it's not a very old car it's a 2017 and i want to make sure that you know everything is just running properly because my next child once my oldest daughter um goes off to college i don't she doesn't necessarily want to take that car with her so my next daughter just recently took her permit test <laughs> so i have to start all over with making sure that we have a car for her to drive so yeah car maintenance long story short i'm gonna be putting a hundred dollars into car maintenance um i do want to put something into um, shopping. Let me see. What else do I want to take care of with this paycheck? Mm, birthdays. Duh. How could I forget? How could I forget? This child's birthday is coming up soon. I think this is all we're going to work with this time around. So, school, we're going to do $30. Shopping, we're going to do $20. And birthdays, we are going to do $75. So, add up those totals. $100 plus 30 plus 20 plus 75. Ooh, that's not right. 100 plus 30 plus 20 plus 75 is $225. So if we take that from the 308.20 that we have remaining, that's going to leave us with $83 and 20 cent so into my extra debt we are going to do let me see just doing some quick math for something that Okay, so we are going to take $45, we have $83.20, we, we are going to take $45. And 20 cent and make our extra debt payment so the 83 20 minus the 45 20 is gonna leave us with $38 $38 and we are gonna take the $38 
Well, I haven't been, even been moving this up, and I know you guys probably didn't even see half of what I was writing. The $38, and we are going to do our September challenge for $18. And we are going to do Christmas for $20. So that's a total of $38. If we subtract that, we have a zero base budget. So let's see what we have going on here, guys. And I'm sorry if I sound a little low, a little tired. It is like actually 3.30 in the morning while I'm filming this. So um, we are working with a budget of $796. I didn't even put that here. Um, the bills that need to be paid this pay period are gas, water, and cell phone for a total of $317.80. That leaves us with $478.20. I am going to take a total of $170 for my cash envelopes. That leaves us with $308.20 to work with for our sinking funds. We are going to take a total of $225 for our sinking funds. That's going to leave me with $83.20. For the $83.20, we are going to make an extra debt payment of $45.20. After we make that payment, we will have $38 left over. $38 is going to go toward our September challenge. For September challenge, it's $9 per day. So we are, this is for the paycheck for September 2nd. It's actually September 2nd, so we need to pay two days worth of um, September. So that's $18. And then we are going to put $20 into Christmas for a total of $38. And that is going to leave us with a zero-based budget. So I know it's been a while since I filmed a video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Have a good one. Bye.